In this video, we will discuss the process to remove and replace the check valve in the flat plate heat exchanger of the Viterdens 100 B1KE199. We have thoroughly drained both the boiler and the domestic hot water system, both cold in and hot out of the plate exchanger. We've removed the door and the HMI and the burner assembly. So you can see now we've got a closer look at the plate exchanger. Before we remove it, um, we could remove the flexible gas line. And the condensate drain from the heat exchanger to the condensate trap. The plate exchanger is fastened to the mounting plate with two 13 millimeter nuts. And again, we've already drained both the boiler and the DHW system, but we will have some residual water in the plate exchanger. So use some shop rags and some plastic to protect the electronics from any residual water. A short 13 millimeter socket will work nicely to remove both fasteners. Once both fasteners are removed, we can essentially push the plate exchanger back to clear the studs by way of the center opening in the mounting plate. Lifting the plate exchanger out of the mount, the best practice here is to remove it with the open tappings facing up. This will minimize any residual water from falling out onto the electronics. Note the orientation of the plate exchanger as we want to install it in the same orientation that it was removed. The check valve is in the piping directly behind the circulator. It's a little tight, but with some friendly persuasion, we can remove the check valve from its seat. We'll be replacing the check valve with the updated check valve with vacuum relief. Simply reinsert the replacement check valve in the same location, making sure it's seated. This would be a good time to use a telescoping mirror to ensure that all of the gaskets that the check valve is properly seated. At this point, we can reinstall our plate exchanger. And again, best practice here would be to keep the toppings facing up to reduce any water drop onto the electronics. So setting the plate exchanger back in place with the mounting studs coming through the mounting plate, we can then refasten with the 13 millimeter nuts. and draw the plate up evenly. At this point, uh, installation would just be reverse of removal, reattaching the flexible gas line, the condensate drain from the heat exchanger to the trap, the burner, the associated wiring and HMI. Let me refill the boiler and the domestic hot water lines thoroughly check for leaks and put the system back into operation. And that's the process for removing and replacing the check valve on the Vitadens 100 B1 KE199.